A few weeks ago, I was asked to uh, try out and review uh, handmade watercolors. Now, these are from Xanadu Art Studio. So, here it goes. Oh, how cute. So, oh, <laughs> comes with all kinds of goodies, I guess. All right, so we have a self inking roller stamp. Cute little border, I guess. Flowers and such. <laughs> I'm a notepad. Okay, uh, that's a big C. Cool. Uh, this is what I've been looking for. Aquanut, uh, Aquanut, yeah, Aquanut handcrafted watercolors. <laughs> There's a little hanger right there. That's kind of cute. Nice touch. And I guess these are also watercolors inside. It says here ingredients. Williamsburg Professional Pigments, Glycerin, Gum Arabic, Synthetic, uh, Ox, Gal, and Honey. So that's what these are made of. She sells in her store these dots. Let me open one so I can show you. They come with a little belly band like so. And when you open that up, you've got watercolor dots is what she calls them, I think aqua dots that she calls them and it looks like she sent me a whole bunch of them we've got here sunflower pumpkin ruby pink petals uh, magic plum pansy hot pink waves aquamarine blooming night and then these ones are kind of like special because uh, I see that these are neon colors uh, this is Tokyo Orange and Tokyo Aur Aurora Pink. I'm having a hard time with this name. Uh, then we have Chroma Shine Tokyo, which has a bit of reflection on it, or kind of like duotone, I want to say, because I can see hints of blues and purples there. That's kind of cool. And then I have two Suihi colors, and they do have... Okay, hold on. Okay, so they do have some sort of a reflective um, components in them. This looks like a bit of gold, and this one looks like there's some kind of ground stone. Now, I'm not familiar with the name. And then we have these two. This is Wilderness, and it definitely has hints of gold. Or bronze, probably bronze. And this is Matsuda. Super Garnet Matsuda. I love this one. Pretty cool. And now I'm going to open up this little box. <laughs> the hanger's cute. <laughs> oh, she sent them to me in um, little containers. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So in this batch, it looks like I have bigger containers of the neon colors that I like, so Tokyo Orange, uh, Aurora Pink, Tokyo, Chroma Tokyo, Suihi, Wakapa. And then I also have bigger containers of the Suihi Hanaai. And she made a rose gold deep. Ooh. Oh, cool. In a previous package that she had sent me, um, she sent me half pans of some of the colors that I had chosen. She had asked me what colors I wanted to uh, to get. So <laughs> she had made a CC inspired uh, artwork and palette, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So these are the colors that I had chosen. So I just want to come back to this. I really like the way they're presented in that uh, you can see right off the bat what they look like because there's a swatch right underneath the dot, which is pretty cool. All right, so now I have to uh, swatch all these.
So here are the swatches. Uh, most of the colors are transparent, which is awesome. Uh, I'm not a big fan of opaque colors. Uh, if I use an opaque color, that's because I'm looking for that shade and it doesn't really exist in uh, a transparent form. Uh, I was very happy to see that the yellow ochre is transparent, which is very rare. Most companies will do a yellow ochre that is more uh, opaque. I do have some favorites. <laughs> um, there, you'll notice there's a slight difference between how the, the paints react or look on the cotton paper, which is this one, as opposed to this cellulose Canson uh, cold pressed paper, and that's normal. That's just the nature of the paper. Um, but I do have favorites. Of course, all the Tokyo colors, I think they're beautiful, vibrant. I mean, all the colors are beautiful. It, it just depends on how you put colors together. Um, but a lot of them have iridescence to them. And um, here you can see Wilderness, the Super Garnet as well. Uh, it does have it, although it might not be noticeable on camera. Uh, all the Sui colors also have a little bit of gold to them. Uh, the Rose Gold Deep, although it is not the rose gold that I'm looking for, is a gorgeous color. It's a very deep rose with hints of gold. Quite gorgeous. The Bloomin' also is beautiful. Now, um, I have reached out to Xenadu Studio to see if there's any light fastness rating. And at the moment, she is testing uh, only the primary or the single pigment paints but that I guess will take some time that's just normal and a lot of her paints are composed of several pigments now the only thing that she could tell me is that she uses amongst others because she uses a lot of different or pigments from different sources but the paints where she uses creamer uh, pigments as well as uh, Williamsburg the pigments in themselves have an excellent uh, light fastness rating she also mentioned that she considers her handcrafted paints to be an art form and for that reason she never makes the same color twice so that's something to consider uh, if you're seeing any colors here that you like I uh, would urge you to check her website to see if it's available or not and maybe you can communicate with her or something so I will leave the link to her website below I'm going to leave you with a little painting. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Go check out the link for Xenadu Studio Handcrafted Aquanut uh, Watercolor Paints. Thank you, my awesome patrons, for supporting my art over at Patreons, and I will see you tomorrow. <music>